Welcome to the studio of the WISIS Plus 20 Forum High Level event here in Geneva. We're joined now by the Honourable Minister, His Excellency, Mr Zunaid Ahmed Palak. Good evening. You're from the head of the delegation from Bangladesh to WISIS Plus 20 and AI for Good. Thanks for joining us. Thank you for having me. Now, tell us about Bangladesh. It's got a, a smart vision by 2041. How is smart Bangladesh different from building digital Bangladesh? First of all, thank you very much for having me here and also give me the opportunity to share our digital Bangladesh vision achievements and also our future smart Bangladesh vision. Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina envisioned and declared her vision for building digital Bangladesh back in 2008. Over the last 15 years of time, based on four pillars, we have been able to develop our human resources. In the ICT sector, we have provided 2 million jobs in ITS, IT sector. We have been able to provide 130 million people with reliable internet connectivity and also digitized 2,500 government services. And now we are exporting $2 billion from ICT sector. Based on the success stories and the foundation of the Digital Bangladesh, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina declared her new vision for building Smart Bangladesh based on another four pillars, which is slightly different from the previous vision. Like uh, now we have a target to develop our smart citizens who would be creative, innovative, and problem solving. And based on the smart economy, I, we, we have a target to produce and uh, introduce all of our transaction paperless and cashless. And our government services would be much more interconnected and interoperable. And based off all these milestones, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina has a vision to utilize AI, blockchain, quantum computing, data analytics, all those frontier technologies to create inclusive smart society. So these are the basic uh, differences and uh, our progress uh, between digital Bangladesh and smart Bangladesh. Okay, there's a lot uh, to that. Uh, how can smart Bangladesh actually help to achieve the SDGs by 2031? Uh, we are totally aligned with SDGs because uh, we, have a, we have a final target to reach uh, 12,500 US uh, dollar per capita income by 2041 and for achieving the uh, ultimate target of being a trillion dollar economy and developed nation by 2041, we have to go through a really uh, very rigorous process and that is why we have a target to develop our quality education ecosystem and that is why we have set up 13,000 computer uh, labs in the school level for developing our citizen as a uh, capable, uh, creative and innovative citizens. We have introduced ICT as a mandatory subject. Now we are thinking to introduce AI as a, as a mandatory subject from the secondary levels. And also we, we are committed to provide quality education for all and uh, based on the uh, very educated generation, Honorable Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina encourages our youth to be entrepreneur. We have been able to provide um, trainings for 2 million youth and we have been able to develop 700,000 IT individual freelancers, also introduced uh, exclusive training programs for the women who are involved themselves in e-commerce, call center agents, IT freelancers. So by this way, we are including women, disabled youth by training proper and also skilling them, upskilling them to ensure their decent employment. And also we are developing a smart economy, what I have already mentioned, by introducing 120 million mobile financial wallets to the villagers, to the underprivileged people. Now we are converting all of our post offices into smart service points from where we could deliver our e-commerce uh, uh, services, logistics, and also we are including all the unbanked poor people into our banking system by providing them the uh, financial inclusion 
by using fintech. So this is how we are very much aligned with SDGs, all of the goals, and uh, we hope that before 2031, we'll be achieving all of the goals under SDGs and under the Smart Bangladesh vision. Those are all very inclusive initiatives, including, as you say, the yeah. upskilling. What's been the feedback from uh, the youth saying? As very, very good, because I, I would like to also share with you that we introduced Startup Bangladesh uh, campaign 10 years back, and uh, we received thousands of applications. And then uh, out of those applications, we provided working spaces in our software technology parks, in our high-tech parks. We have set up university business incubation centers, and also uh, down to the district levels, and also down to the sub-district levels, we have set up 64 Sheikh Kamal IT training incubation centers from where all the youth, men and women are coming to have six months uh, certificate courses, 12 months uh, diploma courses on different, different tech areas, like all the emerging areas, they are learning how to develop websites, they are learning how to uh, develop mobile applications, how to how to be uh, an emitter. So this kind of uh, short, medium and uh, diploma courses are really helpful for them and they are now having encouragement to be entrepreneur. And we have set up Startup Bangladesh Limited Company, which is government-funded venture comp company. And from where we have already allocated more than $10 million to 50 startups. And now we have a target to also create a $200 million um, fund for the entrepreneurs. So in our 2,500 startups, uh, they have created 1.5 million jobs in IT IT sector. At the same time, within the last 10 years of time, they have raised more than billion dollars from foreign VCs. So with this uh, results, uh, we are really confident that we'll be able to create entrepreneurial supply chain and also innovation ecosystem. At the same time, uh, we have developed the startup culture in Bangladesh um, and we have a target by 2041, we will have at least 50 unicorns and our $50 billion IT industry in Bangladesh. Honourable Minister, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to us and tell us all of those developments. Thank you. Thank you very much for having me. Stay tuned, more to come from the WSIS Plus 20 Forum High Level Event.